and we're recording. Hey there YouTube, my name is Kirby as a boss. Welcome to my room, welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk about the final command and the calling that Jesus encourages us believers to live out in our daily life. And it is known as the Great Commission. Now I'm gonna divide the video into two parts. So first I'm gonna break down some scripture. And then secondly, I'm gonna talk about how we can apply this in our day-to-day -day lives. Whether it be in what seems to be the mundane or in crazy life-changing opportunities such as missions, organizations like the World Race. I don't know if you've ever heard of World Race. They are an amazing organization. I'm gonna touch base more about them towards the end of this video. I've had lots of friends work with them. I've looked up a lot of their stuff recently and they're actually the ones that kind of inspired this video. But yeah, I really wanna talk about the heart behind missions and what it's like to live on mission, live out the Great Commission, especially as a millennial, as a new age Gen Z, in today's day and age. So I'm gonna paint the scene for you. I'm about to read Mark 16, 15, and this is Jesus talking to his disciples. Now Jesus had already died and rose from the grave and he had come back and he did ministry on earth for 40 days and then he ascended back into heaven. But this is the final thing that he leaves with his disciples. So picking up in verse 15, it says, and he said to them, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. I love that. Whenever I start questioning what my purpose is, what I'm supposed to be doing with my life, I always go back to that verse because that is what Jesus is calling and commissioning us believers to go and do. So I want us to focus on a couple words in this. So the first word that he says is go. We are called to go. We are called to be active, to be moving, to not be stagnant, to to share this faith. But where is it that we're called to go? Now the second word that I want us to highlight is all the world. Now I know that this can be a bit intimidating, especially for those of us who want to share the gospel and let's say you don't really know what the opportunity is for you. Let's say you're 12 years old and you still live with your parents or you're a teenager and you don't have much freedom or opportunities around you to literally go into all the world and proclaim the good news. Well not only are there amazing organizations out there such as as the world race. Again, we'll get into that a little later on. But I think our generation needs to start getting a little bit more creative with evangelism. I mean, take what I'm doing here, for instance. Like, I know what I'm called to do, right? I know that I'm called to go and to make disciples and to preach, which I do. I've literally been traveling the entire world and I've been preaching and I, I do a lot of that and a lot of speaking. But I also utilize social media and YouTube and different things like that. And I have been able Able to utilize social media as a ministry, as a mission field, because think about it, social media reaches the ends of the earth in like four seconds. Like that is so stinking crazy. The third word that I want us to highlight is proclaim the gospel. That is what we're called to do. We are called to go to where? The ends of the earth. And what is it we're supposed to do? Proclaim the gospel. To who? To all creation. So again, referencing myself, being the stage of life that I'm in, I'm not necessarily able to just drop everything and again move to the other side of the earth and do full-time evangelism work because I'm currently committed to getting a full-time degree and different things like that but again like there are so many ways that I can be fulfilling the Great Commission not just through social media like I mentioned before but there are ways in my church that I can get involved in my school that I can be doing missionary work there are ways in my community that I can be proclaiming the gospel I don't know if you really this or have thought about this but when the disciples were proclaiming the gospel where did they go first they didn't travel all the way to America which was basically the other side of the earth no they went to their neighboring towns and they spread out you can go next door you can go to your neighborhoods you can go to the places that you have access to and you can start there you don't need to be intimidated by this now yes if you have the means if you have the opportunity if you have the passion and more importantly if you have the calling then definitely go to the ends of the earth and proclaim the gospel yes because there are people out there, one, who are lost, two, who have never heard the name of Jesus and they need to hear it. But at the same time, there are people in your communities, there are people in our nation that need to know the real Jesus. I know for me, God definitely put a passion in my heart for loving people, for preaching, for speaking, and for creating content and entertaining. So YouTube has just been such an incredible platform for me to not only express myself and have fun with just family-friendly content and stuff like that, but even just evangelism 
evangelism work. I've been able to to go and, and spread the good news just by sitting in front of my camera and proclaiming the gospel. But even through that, even just through being obedient and spreading the gospel through stuff like this, he has opened up doors and put a passion in my heart to do public speaking. And I've been able to go to ends of the earth. I've been able to go to different states and different countries and preach the good news. Like literally only by the grace of God. I've also been able to go on all kinds of different mission trips like with my church and with different organizations. Like I don't think y'all understand how much opportunity we have in this generation to be a light and to spread the gospel to people. But what I'm saying is, is that we don't need to fear. We can step out and we can live out our calling and our passions and we can go into any field that God calls us into and fulfill the Great Commission, whether it be entertainment industry, whether it be sports, whether it be broadcasting, whether it be cooking, whether it be dancing, I don't know, whether it be missionary work. We can be missionaries in any field. We are called to go into all the ends of the earth. And there are lots of careers, there are lots of places that need Jesus. I just want this video to be more so of an encouragement to you guys because lots of y'all have been messaging me recently because I'm going on a mission trip uh, in 2019. I'm going to the Swiss Alps and I am so pumped for that. Uh, I'm, I, I just love missionary work. I love street evangelism specifically. I love preaching and I love uh, just getting to know people's hearts and just sharing Christ with them and letting the spirit lead. I just, uh, it's so cool. But I, I just want to encourage you guys to, to get in on that because that's literally what we are called to do as believers. We're not called to, to just have this light and hide it under a basket. No, we're called to let it shine and we are called to, to share it with all people because this is life changing news, saving news. And yeah, I mean like you can do evangelism at your fingertips, but more so we need to go. We need to be proactive about this. You can go into your schools without fear. You can go into your churches without fear. I mean, because there are some churches out there that need some truth, let's be honest. You can go out into your communities. You can go to your job. You can go to different countries. You can go to the moon for all I care. I don't know. I mean, go where people are because where people are, the gospel needs to be heard. Now, one thing I want to highlight is verse 20. I love this because this shows the response of the disciples. So as you continue reading, this is what it says. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by accompanying signs. You see, after Jesus delivered the Great Commission he had been taken up, right? And the disciples' immediate response was to respond to what Jesus commanded them to do. We need to respond, people. I mean, like, after we give our life to Christ, we're not called to just, okay, like, now I have this get out of hell free card, like, great. We need to respond and have no fear. Why? Because God is so faithful. And we know by this passage alone that as they went out and they preached everywhere like they were called to do, the Lord was with them and at work within them. And I, I've talked to so many people before that are like, Kirby, I want to go on mission trips. I want to do evangelism. I want to talk to the people in my schools, in my communities, anywhere. Like I want to do, I want to do what God has called me to do, but I'm scared. I'm scared to go up to people. I'm scared to talk. You do not need to fear. The enemy is going to try and cause you to fear to doubt, to rely on your own abilities, but you need to understand that when you respond, when you go into all the world and proclaim the good news to all creation, Jesus will be at work within you. It is his spirit and it is by his grace and his power alone that people will be saved. Like literally, check verse 20, my friends. Remain faithful to this covenant, obedient to your calling. Keep your eyes on the prize and fulfilling this commission. Like literally, it was by the Holy Spirit's power alone that I was able to go up and minister to a man in Italy and see him get saved. Literally by the Holy Spirit alone. But hey, before I wrap this video up, I definitely want to highlight this awesome opportunity for those of you who are just on fire for seeing revival, for seeing people come to know Christ, for those of you who want to fulfill this calling and, and live out the missionary life. Now, I've been on multiple mission trips. I've been to Honduras, Costa Rica, I've been to Italy. Again, I'm going on a mission trip to Switzerland soon. I've done lots of community outreaches as well, and I've done speaking and revival in Europe. But man, there is this one amazing organization called The World Race, and I 
I just want to brag about them for a second because I've had multiple friends go on their trips before. My friend Ray, my friend uh, Paul, my friend Carly who goes to university with me and is in my sorority with me. But they're super popular and I just want to brag on them for a second because I've been referencing them to a lot of people recently and I've been talking with them and I was able to snag you guys a really good deal. So for those of you who feel called to missions, please listen to this. So basically what the World Race is, is it's this missional journey and it offers young people the opportunity to live out the Great Commission, like literally what we're talking about right now. And what they do is they offer three different programs for different age groups. They also happen for different lengths of times as well. So they have the World Race, World Race Gap Year, and then World Race Semesters. So the World Race, which is their original one, is an 11 month missionary journey. And it's for 21 year olds to 35 year olds. And it visits 11 countries. So basically like you're in one country a month. And that's what my friends did. World Race Gap Year. It's their nine month journey and that's for 18 year olds to 20 year olds So maybe like you're fresh out of high school and you're just like trying to figure out what the crap you want to do with your life Boom! Serve the Lord! You visit three different countries with this program. And say you just want to go for a shorter duration of time, like one to three months, then the World Race Semesters would probably be the best fit for you because World Race Semesters is a one to three month journey and that's for 18 to 22 year olds. And that one also visits like one to three countries. So basically what these programs do is they go to these amazing countries and they share the love of Christ and they share the gospel and you live in these really awesome Christ Center communities while living missionally. The World Race places its teams with its long-term ministry partners um, or their international bases in order to foster this long-lasting impact. So the teams will assist with the work of God that's taking place in that area specifically. And I love that the World Race, it is so much more than just a mission trip. There is a large focus on discipleship, which is so important for our generation today, in my opinion. And it teaches you what it means to live on mission. It's an opportunity to experience intimacy with God in brand new ways. I've literally only heard amazing things from all the people that I've talked to that have been on it. World Race leadership, or at least from what I've read and from who I've talked to, their hope is that by the end of the trip, uh, that when you get home, you feel equipped to continue living a life on mission. So it doesn't stop when you leave India and when you leave uh, Japan and when you leave all these really cool places, that you feel equipped to continue living the Great Commission throughout all of your communities or wherever you choose to go next in the world. So yeah, if you feel like you're called to go on mission or maybe you don't know what the crap you're doing with your life and you just want to serve in some way and experience life and see the world and just love on people, then definitely check out the World Race. I have really amazing connections over there and I just wanted to brag on them with this video because I'm really passionate about the Great Commission. This is one of my favorite verses in scripture and I'm going to link all their stuff down below so you can find out what trips they have coming up because they just released all of their 2019 trips and they have some amazing ones coming up. And you can figure out how to be a part of it at worldrace.org. If you decide that you do want to apply, I have a promo code for you. Just use the promo code Kirby and you can apply for free because typically when you apply for these trips, you have to pay a fee. But sis is saving you that money. So you can apply for free. Use my promo code Kirby. Uh, yeah, I was able to snag all that awesome deal. So take advantage of it because seriously, this is like an opportunity of a lifetime. But yeah, I love you guys. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button for videos every single week. Comment down below what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Also, my social media is down below, which you should follow me on because it's always a party. And so is my PO box if you ever want to send me anything. Again, I just want to shout out the world race because I stink and love them. And I'm going to link all their stuff down below along with my promo code. So use it, check them out. They're amazing. Yeah. I love you guys. Remember to keep on keeping on and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Stay stellar.